Hello, welcome to Jim's workshop. Today we're going to talk about this band file sander, or band sander, band file. Uh, I guess they're called by many different names. Uh, this particular one is one that I made for myself a few years back. Uh, this is probably the sixth one of these that I've made in the last 10 years. Uh, the way this came about, I became a field service technician a little over 10 years ago. And at that time, I was using Milwaukee M18 cordless tools, and I was able to get, you know, my complete complement of tools in the M18 battery format, um, with the exception of a band file. The only band file that you could find back then had one major drawback. And this was the drawback. Back then, you could not find a cordless band file, band sander anywhere. You could find corded ones. They were fairly rare, and they were very expensive. I think uh, maybe Fine and Milwaukee were about the only two manufacturers of them. Um, when you could find them, you know, like I say, they had a cord attached to them. Didn't make a lot of sense to me to have a complete complement of cordless tools, but then have to carry a, an extension cord and a corded tool to do a certain part of my job. So back then I built this. I actually built it originally using a Milwaukee M18 format uh, angle grinder. Um, I've since switched over to rigid tools, which is why I'm showing a rigid one here. But basically what I did is I took the spare parts that we had for a Milwaukee angle grinder or band file and machined an adapter that would allow me to put this on the cordless angle grinder. I've maintained the adjustability of it. Feature I didn't originally have when I when I had this on a Milwaukee. Um, and really, this, this is a very useful tool for field service technicians, what I used it for. This might be a little loud, we'll see how it runs. Runs very well. I really like this. Unfortunately, I have retired from my job. This particular band file sander was purchased for me by the company I work for. And so it technically really belongs to them. Even though I made the head, machined the adapter, put it all together, um, it still belongs to them. So in a short period of time, when I turn my service truck back in and turn all my tools back in, I will be giving this back to them. Anyway, I've gone out and I've bought a pair of new rigid four and a half inch cordless angle grinders so I can build myself a new band file sander. I also picked up this kit off of Amazon. Now this is basically the head, the band file sander head. Um, this is made out of molded plastic. It uses this clamp attachment arrangement, which, uh, you know, I've, I've tried to use these in the past. This does not work. So what I need to do is machine a new adapter for this to attach it to the angle grinder and, of course, maintain the adjustability here. Um, and this will be, actually be the the sixth one of these I've, I've made uh, with this particular setup. Um, I've made five other ones for other employees of the company. I've made some on Milwaukee cordless form factor. I've done a couple of rigid ones. I've done two DeWalt's. I've done a Ryobi. Um, and it all works out basically the same way. And basically what I'll end up doing is 
removing this clamp arrangement and machining an adapter out of this block of aluminum that bolts to the head here. And this adjustment arrangement will bolt on the other side of that. So it'll be this going to that so that this goes on here. Um, these are relatively inexpensive kits. I think I purchased my last six on Amazon for probably $20 a piece for the entire kit, which includes the head. Uh, it includes a couple of additional wheels um, in different shapes. It's got some extra belts in here. It's got the dry, uh, driving sleeve, dry, driving drum, which goes on the bottom of the angle grinder. Although this is not threaded correctly for an American angle grinder. Uh, American angle grinder takes 5, 8, 11 threads. This is some kind of a like a 10 millimeter metric thread, maybe 12 millimeter metric thread. Either way, this has to be re-threaded to go on the angle grinder. So we'll show you how to do that when we do the lathe work. This also comes with a attachment for a vacuum, which is something that my original one didn't have, but it actually works out quite well if you're uh, you know, wanting to suck up the dust and debris when you're when you're using this. Uh, the belts that come with this are pretty much worthless and they don't last very long. So what we've been using at the shop uh, are these Norton Blaze belts. They work very well. They're one half inch wide, 18 inches long. Uh, I believe they're 80 grit. Uh, 60 grit. Um, these work very well for, for sheet metal, for deburring, for, you know, cleaning up the the holes that you cut in. The other thing I picked up recently is this rigid three inch, um, I guess it'd be a cutter grinder. Comes with cutting wheels, comes with grinding wheels. Uh, there again, it uses the same M8 or the same 18 volt batteries as my all, all my other rigid tools. Um, what I'm thinking about doing on this is something similar to the band file sander for my large rigid angle grinder. Although I would use a smaller head and mount it in this position on there to uh, make, you know, a different, a different form factor of a uh, band file sander. Um, Harbor Freight does sell a small one using a 3 8 inch wide belt by, I think it's like 3 8 by 12 inches is the actual belt size. Uh, so it's a very small head that would go on here. Um, there again, the one that Harbor Freight sells is relatively expensive. It's in the 20 some dollar range, uh, but it's pneumatic. Now there again, for a field service technician, who's not carrying an air compressor around with them. Um, the pneumatic ones probably wouldn't work. The cordless ones work great.